CTDNA is a hot topic. Uh, Dr. Powells is going to be presenting on CTDNA pre-op and post-op <coughs> part of Niagara trial. Your clinical implications and what to look forward to out there. I'm very excited about the date. <laughs> Actually, at AUA, I went to the microphone and I asked Josh about that. <laughs> and Josh told me, wait for ASCO. So um, <laughs> we're here at ASCO. I, uh, I always believe Josh, so I'm very excited about that data. I think it's, to me, it's very important. Mm -hmm. And I think <laughs> we have discussed that before, that CDDNA is highly prognostic. Right has significant prognostic value. What we don't know for sure, it's, it's predictive value, mm -hmm. predicting benefits specifically mm -hmm. with immunotherapy. There's hypothesis generated from in Vigor 010, of course, you know, maybe Tombola trial indirectly, Abacus trial uh, mm -hmm. in to some degree. So there's a hypothesis about the predictive value, but we don't know for sure it's predictive yeah. value. It's highly prognostic. So interesting to see the data. I mean, I think even not to give away what Dr. Powell's is going to present, it's, a, it's, it's probably the biggest trial in muscle invasive bladder cancer with this biomarker, pretreatment numbers, numbers after neoadjuvant therapy, and then afterwards. So like having those time points on a trial this large, you know, you get to see prognostically, as you're saying, who's going to, who's going to respond, how do they respond to the therapy before surgery and then afterwards. So I think if nothing else, you, you get so much rich information about the biomarker and, and its activity. I, I, I think it'll be a very exciting talk.